What's up, y'all? Anderson here, back for another story, this time about Yaroslav Mahuchik, who recently was crowned the European Athlete of the Year for 2024 on the women's side. Very, very well-deserving, but she did an interview with European Athletics, and she actually noted that she has some more ways to go when talking about the world record in the high jump. But first off, in terms of her accolades, like I said, she is more than deserving for European Athlete of the Year. Dominated the high jump across the board with the Olympic gold medal, got that world record that what 30 plus year old world record in the high jump indoor silver that's kind of her only loss for the entire year and then she also had the top two marks of the year so Mahuchik definitely deserved to get this um, award but of course some people might look at someone like Nafi Tiam representing Belgium she did get a close kind of second but I don't think it was so close Nafi Tiam did win her third consecutive Olympic gold medal in the heptathlon but I think it's a little tricky where you're talking about two other uh, gold medals from 2016 as well as 2021. If we're only talking about 2024, yes, she got the Olympic gold medal, but you know her, she didn't set a personal best. I think this was her third best mark ever. Her performance was number 26 all time uh, in terms of the heptathlon. So I think really great um, you know season for Nafi Tiam, but Yaroslav Mahuchik from Ukraine, I think she definitely deserved this award. And she's even in the running for Athlete of the Year if you want to you know, take that into consideration. But let's talk about what she told European Athletics. Specifically about that high jump world record, she said there is room for improvement. So in the article, she says, quote, I think that I have room for improvement. She says as she considers the possibilities beyond 2.10 meters, which she broke at the Paris Diamond League this summer. I think that jumps until maybe 2.15 meters, I can jump. I want to prove my skills and of course, everything is possible. So just for context, right? Yaroslav Mahuchik, she represents Ukraine. English is not her first language, so it's perfectly fine. We clearly understand exactly what she's saying. That 2.10, that world record that she broke, that was 37 years old, set all the way back in 1987. 1987 insanely old one of the oldest world records on the books what you have the women's 400 from 1985 you have the women's 800 from uh 1983 so this was one of those older 80s records right many women for decades attempted to break this record but never were able to i actually thought you know even recently maria lasiskene who competed for russia and as an authorized neutral athlete i thought that she would be able to get it even a little bit farther back i think blanca vlasic if i'm pronouncing it correctly from croatia she was the one who was able to jump 2.08 meters back in 2009 or 2008 i think it was i thought that she had a good chance to actually break that record she never did it. Mahuchik finally did it in 2024. And what I find even more impressive about this record is that she first got up to 2.07 meters, which was a personal best, and then she went up to 210 and broke it on her first attempt. One and done insanely amazing performance. And she actually spoke about it further in the article about how she felt really, really good in the morning before the competition, before Paris Diamond League. In the article, it says, on the day of breaking the world record at the Paris Diamond League on the 7th of July, she had an inkling it would be a special evening. Quote, I thought about it in the morning because when I did my makeup, I feel it inside, she recalls. But when I came to the track and I didn't jump 1.95, I think this is the first time I jumped with the second attempt and in my mind was, oh, I came to set a new personal best and now I cannot jump 1.95. This I absolutely love. I love when we get a view into her mindset, what was she was thinking about through the day, in the morning, through the competition, second guessing herself like, wait, I was feeling good this morning, but now I can't even jump this height. Am I gonna be able to break the world record? Am I gonna be able to go higher? All those kinds of things really, really get into the mindset of an athlete. It's easy for us to, of course, look at sprinters in the 100, 200, 400, or something like that, even hurdlers or whatever it may be. And we can ask about their mindset, but the races are so quick. 100 meters, they may talk about what they were feeling at 50, but next thing you know, they're at 70. So you can't get as good of a read as compared to some of the field eventers when talking about something like the high jump. In between every single jump, it takes a while. There's a lot of time between each of the jumps that a high jumper takes. So it gives them the chance to really conceptualize and dive into their thoughts and think about how they're gonna be progressing forward, how they're gonna get over the next bar. So I really love that Mahuchik is diving into it here. But she continues on and says, but I continue thinking, no, today, it will be a fantastic evening and it was fantastic even because i jumped 207 the second time and it was my personal best it was a ukrainian record and i was so happy my coach was happy and she asked me will we stop 
And I say, no, we will try for the world record. And I thought that, no, no, I should try one attempt and that's all. Before this jump, I remember my feelings. If you're watching this video, it's one of my jumps where I'm smiling, where I'm so happy. And you know, before this jump, I thought, what the celebration will be in Ukraine if I jump this world record? This is a championship mindset at its finest. She is not only really dialed in, she's kind of looking at her progression, getting to 207, breaking a Ukrainian record, but realizing, no, I'm feeling good. Remember, I woke up this morning feeling good about what might be possible. I'm gonna go for that world record. And she explicitly says, I'm gonna take one attempt, one single attempt, and she got it on that first attempt. And listen, this was an amazing and immaculate performance that anyone across the board, no matter what events you actually really love, you definitely should celebrate a performance like this. 37 years old for someone like uh, Yaroslav Mohuchik to take it down, absolutely amazing. And to think that she's only 23 years old, she is still extremely young. She's dealt with adversity, she's dealt with setbacks. There's been times where she'd been favored to, you know, win a gold medal or potentially get higher on the podium, but then she didn't. Even I think in 2022, she didn't win the gold medal at the World Championships that year, but she was able to come back, won it in 2023, won the Olympic gold. And then even the fact that she's not even thinking just about herself. She's literally thinking about how others would feel if she was able to do this. She almost feels the weight of her country, of Ukraine, and how they would be able to react and how they would be able to celebrate if she was to actually hit this world record. We obviously know that Ukraine is going through a war right now, so she is literally jumping for her country and for her people. And I was looking at the record books. Currently, Yaroslava's 2.10 uh, meters in the high jump is the only world record held by a Ukrainian. And she won the only gold medal at the Olympics for a Ukrainian athlete. So this was really, really an impactful, not only moment in terms of breaking that world record, but entire 2024 for Yaroslava Mohujic. But let's circle back. She did mention jumping 2.15 meters. Remember the quote. She says that she considers the possibilities beyond 2.10 meters, which she broke at the Paris Diamond League this summer. I think that jumps until maybe 2.15, I can jump. I want to prove my skills, and of course, everything is possible. Now, 2.15 meters, it's high. It's very high. We just were talking about 2.10 meters, which was uh, you know just broken this year, 37 years since 2.09. Now 2.15, that's high. That's really, really high. But what I love about this on the surface is the fact that she's speaking her goals into existence. It's interesting. I think that fans like to sometimes criticize certain athletes when they speak about these really lofty goals. Most notably, someone like a Noah Lyles, was it in 2023? He said, I want to run 9.65 in 1910. The entire track and field world was like, no, shut up. Like, stop talking. You can't do that. You're not going to break it. Maybe that's because they love Usain Bolt's records, right? We all love them. But I love when athletes actually do speak their goals into existence. Even earlier this year, Fred Curley saying, I want next time I touch a track, it's a world record. Maybe a little bit of hyperbole. I mean, he said that he was in that perfect form. Who knows? But I actually do appreciate when athletes actually put their goals out. That gives us a chance to speculate, a have a little bit of fun of like, can they actually get it? Can they actually break it? Could they do it? It also allows us to motivate an athlete. If we're actually saying, yo, you can do it, or yo, how about you go incrementally? That allows us to give them a little motivation. It also opens the door for what might be possible. Maybe she's thinking about 215, maybe one day she'll actually get it. And then it opens the door like, huh, maybe 216, maybe 220, maybe those are possible. And it allows us to also get into their mindset. What is it that an athlete is thinking in the background? Like I said, high jumpers, they have a lot of time in between jumps, but when they actually are speaking about their goals, when she's speaking about 215, it allows us to kind of understand what she's really reaching for when talking about her career and the long-term goals that she really does want to set. Like I said, took 37 years to jump 2.10 meters, could this be the start of a new generation, a new kind of wave of athletes really jumping high in the high jump? Look at some of the other events that have seen a surge in performances after one athlete kind of broke the dam open. Women's 400 meter hurdles, perfect example. Once Dalila Muhammad broke the world record back in 2019, which stood for I think 13 years or so, or 16 years since 2003, that just sent off a wave of athletes running 51 seconds consistently over the next couple of years. Even on the men's 400 meter hurdles, Karsten Warholm, he broke the world record in 2021. Now we're seeing so many guys just absolutely dominating and running extremely fast. I think that world record, uh, Kevin Young's world record is not even on the top 10 you know, performances all time. Even looking at just a high jump, you had, I think back in 2013, 2014, you had Mutaz Esabarshim and you had uh, Bondarenko who actually represented Ukraine as well. They were going back and forth, trading wins 
wins and really jumping extremely high heights. You had, you know, Barshim jumping uh, 2.43 meters. You had Bondarenko, I think he jumped 2.42 or 2.41. I, I forget exactly, but they were jumping 2.4 consistently because they each were pushing each other. And then you also have like Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt, when he broke those world records, when he ran 9.6 as well as 9.5, yes, nobody broke those world records after him, but that did kind of push the boundaries of what was possible in the men's 100. You saw so many guys running 10 sevens consistently after that, multiple guys. You saw Johan Blake and uh, Tyson Gay run 9.69. So this may be the catalyst for other athletes in the high jump to look at, hey, if she can actually jump 2.10 meters, maybe I can jump 2.08. Uh, maybe I can jump 2.09. Maybe 2.15 is actually possible. We can't discount an athlete having a breakout performance and not allowing them to potentially bring some other athletes across the board into those really high marks. So I don't know, we'll see. Mahuchik is only 23 years old. She has a lot more to go. She's a reigning world champion. She's a reigning Olympic champion. I think we're gonna see a lot more progression. Maybe she only goes up one centimeter every year or maybe one centimeter every two years, but eventually we might get a 2.15. Maybe someone else is going to pop out and get to, you know, 215 before her. Who knows? But I'm really excited. Mohuchik is one of my favorite athletes considering she's so energetic. She's so exciting. She loves to put herself out there. And of course, she has the performances and the consistency to back herself up. So let me know what you think about Yaroslav Mohuchik. What do you think of her entire 2024 season? Should she be athlete of the year? I don't know. She had a really great year. But also, do you think that 2.15 meters is actually possible when talking about the women's high jump? Or is she talking crazy and she should stop talking? Just like Yasef for Noah Lyles. Not Yah, but you know, some people. Let me know what you think. Always appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching.